So the keywords we have discussed yesterday, the tokens, literals, and all, right? Uh, then we have discussed regarding the arithmetic operators because there are a lot of operators. So we just quickly starting with the operators again. I'm just starting up that so that uh, for those some were were not yesterday, so they can be there, right? Okay. So let's quickly start up with AROPS and we'll try to to sum up with this all. Okay. So that from tomorrow we can start simply. Okay. Uh, with the arithmetic operators, what exactly are there? What consist? What are the things in the arithmetic operators? Yes, if you could uh, say it quickly. How many things are there? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, divisions. Uh, see, uh, guys. I think I have lost my network connection. Just a moment. One second. I'll have to look it on. I have lost it. Reloading. Is it, is it? Is it so? Is it so? Back. Default. Connected. Okay. Just a moment. I lost my connection. D is nine one zero. Yeah. So A R O P S. So I was asking, uh, what exactly we did in the arithmetic operators? How many kind of things are there? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, divisions, exponentiations, uh, powers, and all what we say it is. So let's quickly have a glance through all of these things, right? Like x plus, uh, if I say x and y, and uh, then we define all the things. Like if I say my x and y to be 5 and 10, so I will quickly write up the things accordingly, like uh, x plus y, x minus y, x uh, multiplied by y x divided by y, x integer division of y, x to the power of y, x modulus of y, and the, all the results are here, right? Okay. Now, we do even have something called as round off. You know, round off something. Like if I say, guys, see, if I say that this is 100 divided by 3, giving results 33.3333 till 6 right so if i want to round off this 100 by 3 what should i write what will be the round of 100 by 3 quick take it as an integer mm -hmm. take it as an integer 33 you are saying 33? Uh, integer the latest of so, the... No, no. Uh, I am saying take it as an integer. Taking as... Define it as an integer. Okay. You say... You are saying to write it like this. Like to getting as an integer. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. But what if I round of... If I want an output to the round of two places of this. Round of it to two places. Two decimal places. What uh, is the particular function should I write there? Anyone, everyone? Quickly. Middle orders, Srivitya, Shivani, Shrava, anyone? understood my question what I'm saying I want to write that 100 divided by 3 up to two decimal places round we write something like point 2f okay uh, someone is saying to use round function <clears throat> so I should write it as round round of this 30 100 divided by 3 that's it Who said the answer? Let me see. Uh, Catherine. Is your name Catherine? I'm pronunciation correctly, right? We can use point 2f function. 
Hmm. Point to F. Yeah, you can use that too. Uh, with round, we can write it just like with the two decimal places. So that's it. The thing. Okay, like that. So round up till eight decimal places you want. You can write up the things accordingly. So like if I say any decimal uh, point thirty five point eight, and if you want to round off this, what will say it as thirty six, right? So we can just if just try in round function, we'll get the results accordingly thirty six. Okay, so that's being the thing. Now in numeric uh, type, I think we discussed yesterday that we have uh, uh, the integers, the floats, and all. So I'm not discussing it again. Right. Next, we come up to type casting. So, how many kind of type casting are there? Speak quickly. How many type of type casting are there? Tell me the names. What are those things? See, the basics has to be very much sharp because uh, all the things we are going to deal up with the data and all. So, Python is to be nice. Implicit and explicit, right? Correct. So in implicit, we can just say that. What we can say in implicit? What we can write that this uh, in implicit we don't do anything, right? That is being automatically. If if we just write of the things, the data types are being automatically changed, right? In explicit, we force up the data to write up, and then we are going to change it there, right? Like uh, if I give you results. Uh, Like if I add an integer to a float, I get the results as float, right? But if I say the same results in the parameter or in the parenthesis of the integer function, we get the results as three. Okay, that is an integer. That is, this is an explicit type and this is an implicit type where you don't need to do anything and this works automatically. Okay. Then we come to a function called as input function. Okay. In the function now we are going to deal with the input function. Just a moment. Is it there? We can try it out first. The input function. This was already three cells. Yeah, fine. So uh, there was the input function. So now uh, with the inputs, like if I want to take a, uh, an input of any numeric type, right? So What are the possible ways? What should I write before the input? Mainly, we use integer and float. By default, because input by default is a string kind, so mainly we use integer, either integer or for the float, right? But there is something a function called as evaluate to use for the complex one. Like if we are taking, uh, willing to take an input of a complex one, we just use eval to input. And then to just write, I'm not writing anything. Just taking an input, 32 plus 0 or 2j. So you can see it's basically a complex one. Okay, so that's being the thing. Now, can anyone tell me the difference between when I'm going to write, uh, you know, like uh, write up any number like 225? And the difference between, if you might have studied the random module, how many of you have studied the random random module? I hope everyone, because you guys have done Python, so I hope everyone would have studied this random one, right? So, can you tell me any basic difference between a random integer and a rand range, rand int and rand int? And range and end. Any one, Srividya, make Ranjan. Rand integer. Uh, rand integer will include phi in the output, while rand range will not include phi. Okay. Yeah. Correct. So that is like uh, this is not defined right now. So what we can do is import random 
and random dot this and so does the random dot this the results are there okay so in random integer you'll be always getting the last part as well as the starting and the stopping part and in the random range you will be getting only the starting and the stopping minus one uh, numbers between starting and stopping minus one yesterday i think uh, we discussed something regarding the google codes and like basic otps and all how we get those things right so let me again write that that uh, if we write up a code very quick code i'm right now making so at a time can you tell me how many codes we can make anyone at a time how many codes we can make or how many otp we can generate so is there any limit for that at a moment based on your computation power that is based on your processing unit power of your pc or let's say of your ram kind of thing right if you are working with not a CPU, if you are working with TPU or GPUs, tensor processing and uh, graphical processing units, if you are working with that things, then you can make a lot of things, right? With the CPU, even you can generate around uh, 10 lakhs or more than that within some seconds. So you can guess, right, when you work with GPUs and TPUs, you can have a lot more, okay? We will generate just now, all right? We'll do it, right? So let's uh, write a program and generate a lot of codes accordingly. Let's see. Okay, a quick program we are making and let's see what comes. Okay. So let's take it as. So I'm going to write two, three modules, uh, packages, what we are going to learn through all these sessions. So I'm just writing up so that you can have a glance of like what you are going to learn through. Okay. So now you don't have too much focus on this. You just see what is going to be there. Uh, you might cause an error here. That will cause an error. It's going nine, and um, it's today. Today's nine, right? Uh, it's going ten, and we started seven, eight. Period equals ten. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. <coughs> L is equals to a list. Let's say, and for I n a range of let's say some one lakh. Okay, one lakh numbers. So we are going to generate an OTP and we'll call it as random dot random okay and of let's say a four digit otp one 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 and nine 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 okay and why i'm taking always a least and a greater parameter i'll let you know how why okay and then i'll say l dot append this what to append let's say uh, these codes are like an str of all these codes whatever you have generated and at last i'll like for now, I'm just doing it, making it an, an numpy array, and then making reshaping this basically to three, four, and cross five. Okay, and all after all things, we are going to generate our data frame simply, and we'll say the data to be L and crossing giving the columns as to be the date okay and uh, then we'll say this to the html and we'll say a sample otp pro, pro okay sample otp otpro.html and 
let's see how much time it takes to run this okay let's run three four okay around five seconds okay now what are the complete procedures what we have done basically let me let you know that uh, if you see the dates if you see the date what is in the date I have taken something as uh, 20 20 uh, 10 and 8 that means in uh, Python like uh, the uh, structure we follow for the date and all is first the year then the month and then the date so it's 8 uh, October and 23 okay and from now that is from 8 October I want 10 dates more that is 10 periods so I'm getting the same thing 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 okay then I have used a list empty list and I've made a range basically don't focus on this what is written np.a that is basically an array's range okay so our, it's normal and range of 1 lakh numbers okay and OT is nothing but the OTP what I'm generating all right so for every time it will be generating an OTP and appending that OTP with the use of G okay and there you will get it like all and then uh, an umpy array is being taken uh, you will not understand right now what is uh, exactly array and reshapes and all for just now just see that you you are having a 10,000 kind of uh, rows and 10 columns okay 10,000 rows and 10 columns and you made an HTML sheet of that right how let's see so this is the directory where we are working right now and let's have a look on this so now you can see uh, the codes what you have generated right now within five seconds right so eight <clears throat> october 2020 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and still 17 so these are the total codes what we have generated a lot out there right uh, what i said 9999 rows will be there because we are starting from zero okay if we start from one we have 10,000 so for count we can say that we have 10,000 if, if I just bring this down you can see the, we have 10,000 if we just count with this if I zoom it there so 9999 plus one you will get 10,000 okay right so what is can you tell me like what can be the probability of any number to be getting repeated if i write a small number there can be a lot of chances for any numbers to be repeated like if i write a random range of 2 to 5 and run it for 20 times so there can be a very high probability that of uh, 3 or 4 or any uh, such number could come for many times Like if I say, what is the probability? Can you tell me that for how many times if I run this program, if I say for i in range of 20, okay, print. random of 2 to 5 can you tell me what uh, is going to be the probability is there any fixed probability for that that we are going to get something this amount of results or this amount of results for that there is no fixed probabilities at all like 4 3 5 is coming for now it could be 3 3 3 2 2 so there is no such fix, uh, fixed probability for these numbers and we can be like uh, uh, we can say that the numbers could repeat for as many times as it wants right is that correct right there is no such uh, probabilities you can fix but in case when we learn the libraries of like numpy and all we'll see that we can even fix the probabilities of the numbers of what numbers for how many times you want we can fix even that right so we'll see those things 
so i believe that till yesterday things i uh, we have completed all those things right uh, let's come to the strings and its methods and then we'll go to the conditional statements and all okay let's quick do things quickly so as long your uh, the distance is between the starting and the stopping the better results you will be getting in the random otherwise you'll be getting the repetitions basically uh, you don't have to repeat the things okay so for i in this you need to get a random integer printing a random integer so if like if you are storing the things like uh, s is equals to this and then you are printing the s so the results you are getting it there but if you don't want a random if you don't want repetitions then what you can do is that if s has been printed right if s has been printed for once like if you are storing let's say k okay. so this is being done right now we can say s equals to so k dot f and s now if we say that if the value of s is there in k then you have to continue okay and if it is not there then you go for k dot f and s and that's it print the s see what uh, what is the result 3 4 2 and 5 so can you see the repetitions for now no why even if i have taken the very small result i i cannot see the repetitions 2 3 4 5 is the answer because that can be the only possible waves Even if you run it for 2000 times, you are not going to get the repetitions. So that's the point. But if you don't write these lines, what happens? Now, if you look onto the K, you will find results only 3, 5, 2, 4. Why? Because we don't expect any uh, duplications. So for uh, removing these duplications, we use these things, right? The common things what we are going to use in the loops and all. All right. So in string methods, the very first method is the strip method. So the strip method removes white space from the beginning and ending of the line or the string, you can say. Like if you have a string S. It has got many spaces in the left and the right side. Okay. If I just write print s, you get the spaces also. See, a lot of spaces in the left and the right even. Okay. But if I want to remove this, I'll just write s dot strip. That is being cut off. And only the results, what is there, after removing the white spaces from the beginning and the ending, you get the results accordingly. Okay. Similar to this, there are various other functions which uh, helps in different ways. Like we have lower method, which converts everything in the lower case of a string, or you can say it gets the copy of a string to you. All right. Like uh, for the word, let's say the word, if we say lower, we'll get a lower of that, lower version, right? If it's uh, s kind of thing, s dot strip. Right, that is this word. If you want this in upper, you just write upper. You get an upper. Okay. Now, if you want only the first word to be the capital, like okay, only the first word to be the capital, like that means converting the uh, the first line, first word as the capital one. Right. So, if this is a sentence, if I say this is uh, D, which is equals to. artificial intelligence so if i say d dot capitalize 
so i can see a has got capital but not the i that means the word or the line first word first letter will be capital if we if we are using capitalize method right but what if I, if we are using the method uh, title in that case we get every word's first letter as the capital right these are the things basic things okay so title is also one of the very important you can get all the modules do you know how many modules are there in the python can you tell me can you tell me any one such uh, function from where you can get all the modules which are there in the python like if you even google it like what are all the modules you will not get everything yeah so any uh, thing if you know all the kind of modules still now what we know that help we, modules yeah help modules help modules yes so you get everything all the modules so help is such a very uh, cool kind of thing you can say which gives a documentation and everything for every other uh, keywords and all everything right for whatever you are searching for you get the things of just using the help and all okay so that's nice right next is like something like when you have a string you want to replace or you want to split or math os and okay someone is saying math os yeah, that is fine that is one of two module you can see here but if we just go with uh, the help of your modules you know a lot are there so it's gathering a list of available modules and you will get a lot of things uh just see just wait a moment so we are learning actually here a very minimum range of elements from these what we are going to get right now okay, you know, we'll have to wait a moment because there are actually a big very big uh it's taking a bit time it is giving me the warnings basically for various other of the modules all right i think we have got it yeah so these are all the modules in the python okay you might have read get time calendar c math complex mathematics basically math function matplotlib we are going to learn matplotlib sklearn we are going to learn sk image no no not sk image sklearn sometimes image will also look on okay uh where it is mkl fit fft these are of sci uh, sci-fi works okay then we have spiders mg math mp math and lot see all these functions all these modules so it has also written for any enter module name to get more help or type modules to search on okay like that okay next coming up to the so uh, there can be various ways like replace split or you can say on like uh, various functions are there so how can you get to access all the functions you can use this directory of any such like if you are using string you just write str and you will get every other function of that right or you can just write help to get the documentation of the string but if you don't want documentation if you only want the names of the keywords and like the name of the functions and all you can just use the directory to get the things okay like in which directory you you are now working all, all those things so how to get to know in which directory you are working right now we want to know it how we can write what should we write so like if you are using os and all you can just write uh, os.ch current working here current working 
directory like this uh, if we say import os oh, we are having writing something wrong so dir you can write uh, what is that code chr dir current working directory is see I think you can write get cwd or os.cwd yeah so it's there os.cwd and you get the current working directory and like you can see up where is your file now if you want to change it you can use ch uh, r d i r change ch d i r or something like that right so you, there you can change the directory so directory is important whatever the directory contains will give you everything like exactly what are the things involved and all the things so get c s uh, c w d gives you the current working directory where exactly your path is stored of that particular file on which you are working okay this is one such good parameter you can say on all right next moving on so this can be so strings has got a lot of methods to learn up like on your own you can go and like explore and learn much more okay next we have conditionals and if statements like taking up a very good examples and all right so if if we say that if we write a program just a very quick program of to see like if the student is eligible uh, eligible to sit on the examination or not right so how we can take it we can write it like a uh, number of classes held so we can say it as an integer input okay like mathematically we are taking up the things so enter number of classes held okay, simple and then number of classes he attended he or she attended right okay and then you can write that attendance is going to be something number of classes attended by the number of classes held and completely divided by after division by 100 okay so your eligibility will be checked as like you can write print of uh, your attendances attendance okay and you can just write that if your attendance is greater than equals to 75 you can say you are eligible to appear the examination or else you can just simply say it is not allowed that's it okay let's run or uh, let's say you attended 187 classes out of 100 and 276 so your attendance is 147 i think we had a mistake over there so yeah a number of classes you attended is something uh, approx getting there as n o a by n o h is you have to make it smaller actually let's say 702 classes held and you attended 548 we actually made it larger 
so we got 78.6 percent so you are eligible to appear in the examination now let's say you have 540 classes and you appeared 320 classes so your attendance is like 59 or something and you are not allowed obviously right so uh, this can be the ways of how conditional uh, things can be worked on then you can even make a program to see like which character it is like if it is an alphanumeric alpha bet or it is a number or it is a special character how let's say you input any character okay ch i am saying just and put any character in string format now after taking input if you can write now various ways that if your character uh, is greater than equals to a okay like this and your character is less than equals to z okay taking up range a to z or your character is greater than equals to capital a maybe the user can give capitals or if the or if you wish you can make everything in the lower case you don't have to write it ever in the capital cases or like that okay so if this is less than equals to z if it is such then we'll print what alphabet or elif we can say the same thing so let's copy paste it okay now here you have to enter that elif the character is greater than 0 or greater than 9 that's it only one such condition 9 or 0 so one conditions only and you can make it less than 9 or it should be equal to that I can just print as number or the last which is else obviously if it is not these all what else are left in the keyboard special characters let's run this let's see if i write three uh something getting wrong over there let's see mm. okay okay and it should be there and i've used and there too or is there and is here and let's run again three is a number yeah coming here right now e is a alphabet all these things and alphabet all these things are number even if you write an alphabet we get the numbers over there and if you write something special these are the special things okay then we have used characters and ordinals to find out the things accordingly like if i write chr of 27 uh, chr of 113 14 something like this you get 114 is the r number character digit of r the same with going with the ascii codes of this if we go with the r we get 114 as the ascii code so ascii code will give you basically the uh, you can say the link okay of the uh, ordinals okay same code will go with according to the loops and all like four loops and things are very much clear to you right you can go with the lists and all in the loops then we have indexing and slicing and all tuples working out their sets and list methods and all Right, so I'm not going in the loop and all. Right, let's let's go uh, around the list and let's talk about that. We get various type of uh, you know like uh, patterns in the list. So how we get to the patterns exactly? We are printing up those things. So let's say if we are printing a pattern in a ladder way, like one one two two something uh, here like this two two three 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 four 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 five 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 and like this. Okay. 
all these patterns sometimes you get to make it there how we can easily make it there see like if i want six rows okay basically if i'm saying six that is nothing six if i want six i can make it six like starting from zero okay so i want six rows let's say so what i'm going to do is for taking a variable num in range of my rows plus one then only i'm going to get the six rows because if i say rows only then uh, i'm going to get five rows right so rows plus one is going to give me six rows so for uh num is this in all what i'm going to do i'm taking one more for i in range of my num range of my <coughs> sorry num okay and then we are going to just print that uh, num and after each line line after each row to display the pattern correctly what we are going to do is we are just going to write up uh, just a gap printing a gap that's it right so that you can get every correct things in the pattern let's let's run city okay oh uh, yeah Hmm, something is one two two three three and all. All right, let's end this here with the string. Is it? Yeah, coming there, right? So all these patterns, like uh, there can be similar patterns. You can make even this as an uh, just an reverse of it, right? You can make it there too. So there can be various ways to write other things accordingly. And uh, list has got a various dictionary. Uh, Helps and all if I write the directory of list. No, it's not there for the list. No. And you can see the list. Basically, append, clear, copy, count, extend, index, insert, pop, remove, and all these functions. Same goes with the sets and all. If you go with the set, you'll see the parameters and all functions add clear copy difference and all all these things all right then you go with the directory of uh, let's say tuple tuple has got very less thing right only the two functions are there which are more important count and index that's it right so we go with that and then you can go with even uh, the dictionary dict type in. oh sorry that's it directory so all these are all right so you don't have anywhere to go basically on the internet and all you can just write or uh, search on the things directly from here don't have to go anywhere else okay so these are the things which we can go throughout the basics of the python right and let me stop the video